Hey guys, uh, this is Dr. Missy Hood with The Compass. Welcome to our first compass for this 2022 year. Um, C2 uh, is the season that we're now entering into, and I usually do the compasses to help you navigate, and so, um, and to help you navigate through the witchcraft, and so, which is why I've gotten on today. My hair is all funk dunk Who cares? Who cares? So, <laughs> anyway, okay, so let me explain what's going on right now around your environments, <clears throat> what I'm seeing the last couple of days is that you're working on a project, right? God's got you working on a project. Hopefully you're working on praying your country back in or you're praying in an assignment. Uh, your assignment is your dream, a goal that God gives you before C2. Maybe you've been doing it for a year. I don't know how long it takes you to pray something in. But it's a part of the co-creation process. The co-creation process is set up to teach us how to stay seated with God in heavenly places, but how also how to use the Word of God to help bring heaven into the earth okay so it's god's plan <clears throat> for the particular thing he's got you praying in or it may be even a brand new thing he's if you're higher up in intercession you may be you may be really adventuresome and you may want you may have faith like a mountain and you're going to help god co-create something from nothing so good for you so that's the assignment that god gives you before you enter into c2 so your job then um is to maintain the thing while working your way through C2. Remember, your faith has nothing to do with your feelings. Okay, so how would the enemy hit you then if you were holding on and praying for a thing? He would probably hit you like he has been the last three days with, with frustration and impatience because he knows that faith and patience are the power twins. So a lot of society, there's been a blanket spell that's been released over intercessors in society to make us very impatient. And by the way, it's a PSYOP. That is also a PSYOP tool. It's done through the media or through... Um, the lack of action that we haven't, that we don't think we're seeing yet because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And so it's creating this frustration. If you've been sensing people around you frustrated or a little ag edgy or agitated, or maybe you have been, that's because faith and patience are needed in your particular situation, whether you're paying for the nation, whether you're praying for your particular personal situation. And not to mention the fact that if you're a prophetic vessel, then you're like a walking, talking radio tower. So you're going to feel everybody else's emotions around you. You need to shut that stuff off. Acts 20 to 11. Shut off your ability to sense other people's emotions around you. You don't need to be in their atmospheres. They don't need to be in yours. Shut it off and stay focused. Stay focused on the task at hand. And then release the... The peace, love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, and long-suffering parts of God's Spirit. Release the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. Strike down fiery darts that hit your confidence, that hit your ability to believe, that hit your faith, that hit your trust in God. Exodus 7, 11, and 12. Strike those fiery darts down and release Mark 5, 36 for belief. Release Proverbs 3, 5 for trust. Release Philippians 4, 17 for confidence in the Lord. And release more faith. More love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. So that's where you're going to start. Okay. So the other part of it is we've got hackers. Hackers that are hacking into our atmospheres right now because the enemy knows how to use technology. You've heard of, he's using the cosmos, by the way. Have you heard of the cosmos? Cosmos magic, things like that. Planetary magic. God, what else do they use? They use cosmos manipulation everything it's all types of magic so you want to be binding all types of magic against you and any type of hacking tool through witchcraft all witchcraft tools via portals uh, wormholes black holes any type of door known or unknown block it Genesis 8 2 lock it Judges 3 24 lock it because these are hackers and by the way they do it in cyberspace as well so cyberspace is another cosmos atmosphere that they can utilize. You, it's just, I'm going to expand your faith right now. Expand your horizons. This is high level intercession. But it's the level for seated beside Christ in heavenly places. Hello, God is in the cosmos. <clears throat> so they've taken that concept and they've applied it to technology to apply magic. Hmm. So they, they can affect you in applications. Whatever you touch, you have touch gates, feet gate. Eye gate, ear gate, mouth gate, 7 or 12 heart gates. They can get you any way they want to get you onto their grid. So you need to break those things off, block the ability for spells to attach to you through those grids 
through cosmos magic. You need to nullify their altars and the ingredients on those altars. 1 Corinthians 1.19, block it. Genesis 8.2, you need to erase their tag lock connections. Genesis 7.23. And then you need to ask God to protect you. Protect all your gates. Protect your mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Protect your thinking. Protect your ability to believe. And protect your ability to believe the best of a holy God. Remember, if you don't get weary and well-doing, in due season, you're going to reap a harvest. So, if you know anything about love, while we're coming up into God's heart right now, hello, Ezekiel's will monitors the heart of God. If you know anything about the Father, He's a good daddy. He's a good daddy. finishes what He starts. And He's in this to teach and raise up sons and daughters of a king who know how to rule and reign with him in heavenly places. We know that he's good, that he's always and ever watchful eye. He's always watching over us because he's omniscient. And he knows the end from the beginning. Hello, Isaiah 46, 10. He allows you to see the end from the beginning. So if you can have great expectations for a great ending, hello, God's into happy endings, then you know that God's going to do what he said he would do because he's a good God. In faith and love, believe the best of a person, true love. We believe the best of a holy God. We know he's on the job. He's working on it, whether I see it in the natural or not. So everything I'm walking through right now is just a test. We live by a season of seed plus time equals harvest. That's per Kenneth Copeland. So I'm, I'm just, I thank God for him. He's a father of faith. So you're in the time portion of the test. And just because things haven't manifested yet doesn't mean they won't. Remember, if you don't get weary in well-doing, in due season, you will reap a harvest. If you don't faint and you don't give up, that's the power twins of faith and patience per Kenneth Copeland. God bless these people. God bless these fathers of faith. And so God bless you. You can do this. You trust me? You can do this. Trust him. Don't trust me. Trust him. I'm just a woman who's tried to help you out a little bit. Helping a brother out. <laughs> Sorry for my gravelly voice. Um, I'm just sitting here and grab, about to go grab some lunch. I've had a, it's been a, it's been a morning. <laughs> I can tell you that I started off rough with the frustration and the agitation and all those same things hitting me too. And then I thought, this is crazy. This is everywhere around me. And then I talked to our prayer team and they're all struggling with the same thing. And I thought, hmm, this is a blanket spell. They've released this to try to hinder intercessors all across the nation with frustration and impatience because it'll pull you out of love. Get back up beside him. Take your seat back up beside him. And stay seated for crying out loud. God's got a great plan for you. And hello, we're gonna we're gonna outlast the enemy. See, he he thought we'd quit and give up and give in to this crap that they're trying to do on this new world order mess, but that's not coming. That's not happening. God's blocking them off at every place. And by the way, part of the frustration you're feeling right now, part of the frustration you're feeling is theirs because they're getting blocked. They're starting to get blocked because you're learning to come up in heavenly places. And I'm sorry, that's kind of facetious, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. God bless you. God bless you. Stay on the wall. And the devil can go to hell all by himself. So stay on the wall, warrior. You're doing a great job. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.